A year after the pandemic started, Canadians are shifting their focus from the explosion of COVID-19 cases to the gradual increase in vaccinations. First chance I get, I'll be there. So I can go visit my mom in Montreal as soon as I can. But the rush to get more needles into arms is leading to some confusion. The grocery giant, Sobeys, has been inviting people to register online for vaccinations at company-owned pharmacies across Canada, including Lawton's in Atlantic Canada and Safeway in Alberta and British Columbia. Before people can sign up, a message said they must agree to Sobeys using their personal information for marketing purposes, raising eyebrows for a free vaccine administered on behalf of provincial governments. Signing up for spam emails is not... It's not part and parcel of a, of a vaccination. Sobeys calls the message an error in language that happened as it launched the registry quickly on March 3rd to prepare for vaccine rollouts. The company says it has no intention of sending marketing information to people signing up for vaccines. After it was notified by Global News, Sobeys changed the language, removing the word marketing and adding the term for vaccine communication purposes. The company would not tell us how many clients signed up before the change. Among those who want more information is the Office of the Privacy Commissioner of Canada. In a statement, the office says the issue does raise a number of privacy concerns and we are following up with Sobeys to discuss the matter. The statement says consent to the receipt of marketing materials as a condition for vaccine registration would raise significant concerns. While some lines are being blurred by mistake, Others are being intentionally erased, especially when it comes to COVID-19 scams. In Newfoundland and Labrador, which has been rattled by a COVID outbreak, the government warns residents about a phone scam where callers are asking people to pay for their COVID-19 pre-registration and vaccination. The Anti-Fraud Centre says almost 12,000 Canadians have fallen victim to COVID scams, such as faster testing, vaccinations and miracle cures. David Fraser says any confusion, whether malicious or unintentional, could make so-called vaccine hesitancy worse. It's an additional thing that somebody is being forced to think about when really all they should be thinking about is how can I get vaccinated as soon as possible. The owners of two other pharmacy chains, Shoppers Drug Mart and Rexall, did not reply to our inquiries about their policies for vaccine registration. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.